Hey, what is up everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. I paint shoes, makeup, I do some artsy shit. Yeah, anyway, let's just get started. So today I'm using Angelus paints. In fact, they're the only paints I've ever used for leather shoes. So I don't know why I'm saying today as if I've used any other paints before. <laughs> anyway, they're really good. They are super tough. They endure a lot. They are of course waterproof and are designed for shoes for leather and you can paint this on different surfaces but it all depends on how you prep the paint um, and also the surface as well actually but maybe I'll get into that in another video so anyway for these shoes she said um, she wanted anything so I decided to do me <laughs> so like teeth eyeballs as you can see I got a noose here with some fire yeah super dark super scary this took a very long time i mean literally hours because i would say a minus about this is you have to do many many layers just to get the color saturated but it's so worth it in the end and i'm sure you know this is just way better than buying like a brand that's printed because it's just so much more unique there's only one in the entire world and it's just specially for you. So if you want some shoes yourself like this, then please don't be afraid to get in contact with me. I have my Instagram, at Goth Spectrum, my Facebook, and we can take it from there. A few little tips that I could give if you're wanting to paint some yourself is definitely use white first and do about two to three layers. I prefer to actually do three just to get that color really solid. And then I always paint the whole surface in the main colour, like say if I'm doing a leaf, I'll paint it all green. And then I'll go in with the darker tones and do the shading, and then I'll do the highlighting last. You also may want to consider doing a good couple coats of the colour first, like the base colour, before you even start shading and highlighting. And yeah, this is why it starts to take a very long time. Obviously, if you're already painting on a white surface, then you won't even need to put the white down first. You can just go straight with the colour. Take your time, trust the process, understand that this works in layers and a lot of time and patience. Imagine it like real life Photoshop. Layers and layers and layers. Although this isn't the first time-lapse video of painting shoes that I've ever uploaded to my channel, it is, however, the first pair of shoes I've ever painted. Overall, I'm really pleased with how they turned out. I'm pretty satisfied with how they look. And I mean, they're not perfect, but they're definitely okay for a start. Thank you very much for watching my video. I really do hope you enjoyed this and you found some sort of value in this. If you like this, then feel free to follow me on all my social media. You know where it's at. And I will see you next time.